Hi everyone, we're gonna learn how to grab gradients and then apply them in Premiere Pro. See the background there? Sweet gradient. Let's jump in and I'll show you how to add them. Hi everyone, uh, to apply a gradient we need to select something. In our case we're gonna use this rectangle behind our little lower thirds. So I'm gonna select on the clip, I'm gonna click on the actual rectangle itself that we applied. If you haven't got one existing, what you can do is you can have nothing selected, go over to here to your essential graphics, go to this little turn up page here and say let's insert an ellipse. Okay, and you can start from here. We're gonna start with this existing one. Just have a random circle halfway through our clip. Okay, so let's have it selected up here, down here under fill, and it's this little drop down here. Solid, you can either have a linear, which is left to right, or radial, which is a circular gradient. Let's go with a linear gradient for the moment, and let's click OK. You have to click OK for it to apply. Now it's gonna apply, some reason mine applies pretty randomly, but you've got these two little um, dots, okay, these little dumbbell bar things. Okay, so one one side is one color and the other side is the other. And you can just move them around to get the angle you want. Okay, you might want them up and down. Okay, and go that way. All right, let's go and change the colors. Let's click on this fill again. Now to change the colors is these two little swatches here. So if I click this first one and drag the circle around, I can pick within the hue here. To change the hue color is this little, see these little chevrons here? Drag it up, drag it down. Let's say I'm gonna go for an orange color and I'm gonna drag it down here. Click on this other side. It doesn't update live, which is annoying, but hey ho. Okay, I'm gonna get down to another orange and just pick a, like a darker version of it and click OK and I've got a hideous orange. Now I've lowered my opacity earlier on. I'm gonna turn it up. You can drag these around. Okay, uh, let's have a real quick look at radial. It does what you imagined. Okay, it's like a circle in the middle. Can you see it? Well, where is he? There he is there. So this dot's the middle, and this is the extent of how far it comes out. So little circle, big circle. I find it's quite, yeah, it's not gonna, it's up to you. <laughs> uh, another couple of things I wanna show you is how to get colors or color inspiration and then get it into Premiere Pro. So there's a couple of places I go to. Uh, Grabient is one that I use loads. Uh, it's still around, which is good. It might disappear in the future. It's just this random site that gives you nice gradients. Okay, so let's say you do like this kind of color grouping. You just click on these dots here, and you're after these hexadecimal numbers. Okay, so just, there's generally just six of them. Okay, you can have three, but all I do is, can you see I want to add it to this first um, little swatch here? Okay, click in here, delete what's in there, and paste that. And that's that color. Let's click on this other side. Okay, come back here, click on the pink, grab that. We don't need the hash, because it's kind of in there by default clicked on that house, paste it in. And I've got that proper gradient. All right, but let's say you don't want, there's not an official site, you just kind of discover it either on Grabient or, sorry, either on Behance or Dribble. There's a couple of good places. I just typed in gradient here. You don't really need to type it in. It's popular enough to like be kind of through a lot of the artwork here. And same with Dribble. Okay, you might discover one and go, oh, yeah, I like this, what's going on here? Um, so let's show you how to kind of steal it for Premiere Pro. Probably the easiest way is let me find something I want. Let's, actually, I'm right there. Okay, let's say you really like this kind of contrast between this green and this purple here. So what you need to do is you need to open up Premiere Pro, kind of shuffle it over. You can grab the sides and just drag it or move it, whatever you need to do to be able to see behind it. Okay, and do some sort of like magic where you can see both of them. You might have to drag this this way, this this way. Okay, then click on your fill, and if you move that out of the way, see the eyedropper here? You can say this first little color well, I'm gonna click on it, and then I'm gonna click on this. It's a bit random, you just kind of randomly click, and it goes across, get the blue. Okay, let's click on the pink side here, eyedropper, I'm gonna grab the purple, and it brings it over. Does this work on PC? I'm not sure. Uh, jump out, give it a go. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if it doesn't work. If it doesn't work, another way to do it, and another way that I use is, where are we? is I got this little plugin for Chrome. Okay, it's called Colorzilla. Okay, if you go to the um, extensions manager, either using, I'm using Chrome, you might be using Internet Explorer. Actually, they don't call it that anymore, do they? Edge, I think it is. Okay, and you can find a plugin and that just does a similar sort of thing. Wander around, pick a color, and it tells me up there what my hexadecimal number is. Anyway, that is how to do gradients in Premiere Pro. I'm now going to go change it from a radial to linear and mess about with it to try and... It always looks better on somebody else's work. <laughs> uh, to get rid of all the lines, here we go. What do I think? Yeah, 
I think that. But we learned how to do gradients. Let's jump into the next video. All right, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give the video a like. Consider subscribing to the channel here. And also, if you want to go a bit further with Premiere Pro, consider checking out my Premiere Pro Essentials course. There is a link in the description. Bye now.